I'm here today with John Stockwell, our first ever SEG Wiki champion. Congratulations and thank you, John. Thank you. How did you get involved with the SEG Wiki? Can you talk about your journey from your first contribution to Wiki champion? Well, I had an interest in the history of geophysics, and so uh, Matt Hall was setting up the Wiki and, and, uh, and set up a page for doing biographies. So once that page was in place, I had a whole bunch of content that I had built up over the years. Uh, many of this, these items were given to me by Susan Henley, who had been the, uh, the curator of the, Ge of the Geophysics Museum that SEG ran in, in Tulsa. And when that was mothballed, I received certain items, including uh, emails with biographies and pictures and, and uh, the complete inventory of the museum and those items I wanted to make sure that they were preserved and hopefully someday become a virtual museum or an online repository of some variety. So as of today, you've made 3, over 3,500 uh, contributions in the wiki. Can you talk about that, that process for making a contribution? Is it, is it simple? Is it difficult? Well, I had a, a lot of content that was in the form of email messages with attached photographs, and so I was able to cut and paste for my email, and that made it fairly quick. Once I had the template, it was actually very simple to just upload pictures. I had to get more content, though, once I used that up, and so it was a matter of going to paper journals because it turned out that the SEG had not uh, digitized the uh, contributors' biographies. I found a number of sources in the Leading Edge, a publication of the SEG. There were, in the early days of the Leading Edge, Dean Clark and uh, Dolores Probosta uh, did these wonderful interviews with uh, old-time geophysicists, people who are no longer living, and I was able to draw on that material for uh, material for the wiki. Thank you for breathing life back into those publications. You once said of the science, as with any human endeavor, exploration geophysics is really about the people. Can you talk about some of those people and how the wiki is a vehicle for celebrating the accomplish accomplishments of the pioneers of the science? Well, I think it's important to recognize that there are older people in the society who remember a lot of the events that are the history of the discipline. But um, um, the younger people are not even aware that there is a history. It just seems like exploration geophysics appears out of nowhere. But when you start uh, looking at and asking the questions of who invented the techniques that we have for processing seismic data, for making seismic images, all the things that we do for various geophysical disciplines, um, those were created by people, and those people have stories. They were people in the industry, people in academia, and uh, their stories are interesting. Absolutely, I couldn't, couldn't agree more. Uh, as you know, we are expanding the SEG Wiki Champion uh, to include an outstanding student chapter and individual student. Do you have a message for your peers and your students about the wiki and or the award you helped launch? Um, it's, it's important to recognize that uh, this isn't just about scoring wiki pages, it's about learning. And so as you go and learn about the uh, history of the discipline, the, whatever area of geophysics that we're looking at, then you start uncovering the stories of the people and those were real people with real lives. They weren't just tech people. They, they had very interesting stories to go with their lives. And it's an opportunity to see how uh, today's geophysics connects to the geophysics of the past, but then also to such disciplines as mathematics and mainstream physics. Thank you, John. Thank you for all you do for the SEG Wiki and the science.